Hi guys, today I'm here to tell you all about the Brooklyn Bedding 3 major mattresses that I have here actually. I will be showing you their mattresses one by one. I have right here the hybrid mattress uh, from their line, the Brooklyn Bedding Signature Mattress. They have made a major improvement to it. And uh, by that I mean that they have purchased their own coil machine and added coils, six inches of coils inside this mattress, making it one of the best sleeps I've ever had. In 2017, I have tried their best mattress ever. And then suddenly they realized, hey, let's just add some coils to this mattress and see what happens. Actually, a lot of good things happened. Uh, happened. I have nothing but majorly pros rather than cons to talk about this mattress here at uh, the hybrid mattress so they added six inches of coils individually wrapped pocketed coils making this mattress acting or um, performing really good on my adjustable bed versus the older version when it was a little too thick or too firm this one is thick it's a 10 inches mattress in total you will notice also that this mattress, I know it's a hybrid mattress, it's a lot of work put into it. They have Titan Flex foams, two layers, um, and that's really high quality materials coming from America, of course. Uh, it's a luxurious hybrid mattress at an affordable price. So when you think, think hybrid mattress, a lot of pocketed coils into it, and really high quality materials and foams, you think instantly, oh, that's like a lot of money I have to pay to get that mattress. This is not the case here. Now, uh, besides this one, I have two other mattresses that I will be showing you one by one. So right here we have the Aurora mattress. Like I said, it's also from Moon and Lenning, uh, the same factory as well. Here's what I love about Aurora and what I kind of dislike. Uh, so, the cover. I absolutely love the cover. It's way cooler. And uh, there you go, look at that. Like, it, I remember sleeping on the road, it kept me cool all night long. Um, what I don't really like about it is that and it is their uh, luxury hybrid mattress. That we all know. But I can feel the coils as I'm pushing on them on the edges versus their signature hybrid, they did a great job hiding the coil, coils on the edges. So they have thicker material uh, to, to wrap the edges of the coils or the, you know, the coil layer that they have added, thanks to their own coiled machine. Now, um, I have noticed, I don't know if that's something you guys care about, but I do a lot because I move mattresses around. As you can see, I do have these mattresses. I sleep on them. I test them. I do my sleeping job, if you want, and it's not seriously an easy job. Like, I have to figure out which mattress is good and what's, what's their pros and cons, and that's not easy. But... Here's why I'm bringing up this subject, the handles. The handles on the Aurora are not as strong as the handles on their new hybrid mattress or um, their signature mattress. They are sideways versus uh, the other way around on the other mattress. But as I was moving the Aurora over and over again, I noticed some stitches are coming um, off or the handles coming apart. So. That is one thing also I have noticed. Now, if I was to choose between the Aurora and the Signature Mattress, I would honestly go with the Signature Mattress. I am a big fan right now, except for one thing. I wish they would switch the cover. So put the Aurora cover on top of the, your Signature Mattress, and there you have the perfect mattress. I'm just saying, my honest opinion. Um, I'm supposed to sleep cold on your signature hybrid mattress, but I felt warm at some times during the night. But the Aurora cover was absolutely amazing, keeping me cool. So, those are the two differences uh, between the Aurora and the signature hybrid from Brooklyn Bedding. Up next, their old foam Bowery mattress.
Let's check it out. Finally, up here we have the Bowery mattress. Up here, I'm saying up here only because I was able to lift it so easily versus these two. Normally, of course, they are heavier. They have um, layers of coils inside of them, so that's all right. But I'd rather carry a Bowery every day and move it around. <laughs> but anyway. What I'm trying to say here, or show you here, is inside the Bowery. So the Bowery is their awful mattress. Here you can see there are three layers. Um, the top layer, which is the comfort layer, nice and soft. The firmer layer, or the transition layer, and the base layer. All three layers together add to give you this perfect bounciness, firmness at the same time, but not so much firmness, just so you know, because it's an all foam mattress after all. So, um, just enough firmness to keep you leveled and to distribute evenly your body weight as you sleep at night. So, one very important thing I have noticed in broken bedding mattresses is that they do not have zippers around their covers. Maybe no big deal to you as well, because I don't know, you don't want to wash a cover. But that's why I had to cut through it, just to show you what's inside of it. Um, the covers, talking about the covers. Now, I do love the Aurora cover, and I have mentioned that previously. But it's not stitched in, it's like free, right? I am a big fan of their uh, signature mattress. The cover is, uh, has stitches and it keeps this whole mattress together while it doesn't really keep the aura together and I'll tell you why. I again move mattresses around this house just to film and to show you what's inside of them and to do all those movies as you can see. But as I was moving the aura over and over again, you can tell that these foams are trying to fall, forming this like uh, bulginess. Like, not a beautiful uh, thing to see. So if you are moving houses, let's say, just be careful when, if you have an aura, uh, how you move it, how you put it inside your truck. Don't put it on the side, just lay it down. It's just a little piece of advice and I have noticed that. Uh, now the Bowery, I do love the Bowery. It's super soft. It's really like a nice little fun three layered uh, all foam mattress. They pulled it off. Now, if I had to choose between these three mattresses, and I know there's a big difference, this is all foam, and these two are hybrids. Uh, my first preference would be their hybrid mattress. It's a luxury mattress, luxury hybrid mattress with six inches of, um, of a premium or high grade pocketed coils. And it's their signature mattress, their best mattress ever that got even better. Um, my second choice, honestly, would be their Bowery. I really enjoyed sleeping on the Bowery. It was so smooth and nice, and uh, I really uh, like their cover. This cover is just really providing me with a lot of airflow and cool. My third choice is the Aurora. Although I absolutely love the feel of that cover, like it, as I'm feeling it right now, it feels cold, which means it is a cold night's sleep right there. Finally, I want to mention quickly uh, about Brooklyn Bedding products. They are my favorite one-stop shop. Um, if you go to our website, I do have a section or a post about one-stop shopping. One of them, one of the major ones that sell almost everything, but products uh, related is Brooklyn Bedding. So, right here I have their uh, bamboo sheets. I've been using those ever since I have been into this business. And um, I still have them and I still sleep on them. This is their fitted sheet. Also, they have the sheets, the uh, the pillow covers, and this is their pillow right here. The best pillow ever. I also sleep on it, of course. But it's just to give you an idea on not to stress it anymore and go and shop around to try to match your bed products if you are like me. Uh, you just go online, go to notbysreviews.com, check out our one-stop shopping section or post to make your life easier. 
So right here, uh, again, we have those three mattresses coming from Brooklyn Bedding, Brooklyn Bedding, the factory right here in the USA, in Arizona. They ship direct factory to your doorstep. No middleman, no hustle, no pushing around. No, not even uh, leave your uh, house. Unless you live in the Phoenix area, they do have stores. So you have the ability to go online, try to find the nearest store if you live in the Phoenix area, and uh, test a mattress and see uh, which one is good for you. So uh, those are the three mattresses that I have laid on top of each other just for you guys to show you the differences, pros and cons. Not a single mattress is entirely perfect if you want, but uh, we are here to help you decide which one is good for you. Uh, thank you for watching this movie. We hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.